Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to use a custom proxy service for your web scraping automations. If you send too many requests to a service, your IP could be blocked for further requests. To avoid this, you can use a proxy. There are many proxy services available to choose from. Today, we're going to use webshare.io. Webshare.io is one of the many cost-effective proxy services you can use. We will create a simple test flow to observe the changes with and without the use of a proxy service. Let's start by adding an inject node to our flow and then renaming it to start. Then add an open browser node. After that, add an open link node. First, we need to check our original IP address to verify later if it changes when using a proxy. Set the open link URL to the HTTP bin service that shows our current IP address. And then let's run this flow. The browser will navigate to the HTTP bin page, and then you will see your current IP address. Every time you scrape a website and send a request, the server identifies the IP address. After several hundred requests, it may block this IP for further requests. So you need to access this remote server from different IP addresses to scrape more data. And that's why we're going to use a proxy service. To set up a proxy, you have two options. First, go to webshare.io, click on the rotating proxy page from the left navigation panel, and here you will see these two different options. The first method is IP authorization, and the second one is username password. We will start with the easiest one, IP authorization. Here, you need to add your machine's external IP address where the robot is installed. We have seen our IP address by visiting HTTP bin. We need to add that IP to the list of source IP addresses below. By doing this, when a request reaches this WebShare proxy server from the robot, it will bypass the need for username and password authentication. Click this edit button to proceed. Click the Add a New IP Address button, then enter your robot machine's external IP address and click Save. Remember, this method will only work if your machine's external IP address is static. Otherwise, you need to update it here whenever your external IP changes. Now you can use this proxy server without any authentication. Copy this URL. Now, go to the Open Browser Node Properties, find the Proxy Settings option, and select Manual Proxy, and then paste your proxy address followed by a colon. Next, copy and paste the port address after the colon from the WebShare Setup page. And that's all you need to set up for the IP authorization method. Because our source IP address is whitelisted on WebShare, no authentication is needed. Now let's run this flow again. As you can see, our IP address has changed. Let's stop this and then run again. And it has changed again. Each time, the proxy will rotate through a list of IPs and use a different IP address. This was the first method and was relatively easy to set up. We just added our IP address to the whitelist on the WebShare service, and now each request bypasses proxy authentication. Now for the second method, we can use the username and password. You need to go to your vaults, 
open a vault, create a login item type to enter the username and password. This method is best if your IP is dynamic and changes, or if you do not know the IP of the machine on which your robot will be running. Let's name this vault item Web Share Proxy. Now, go to the Web Share Setup page, copy and paste the username, then copy the password from the same page and enter it into the password field of the login vault item. Save it and then close the vault dialog. Now, in the Open Browser Node Properties, find the Proxy Authentication section and select Basic Authentication this time. Now you need to select the WebShare Proxy Login item that we have created. The proxy port address also needs to be changed. WebShare uses a separate port for username and password authentication, which is port 80 here. Update the proxy address port. Now let's run this again. As you can see, it worked. Finally, Open Browser Proxy Settings includes a RoboMotion proxy option that requires no setup or credentials. You can just select it and it will work. To use it, your workspace must have RoboMotion proxy request credits. To add proxy request credits to your workspace, you can go to the Admin Console's Subscriptions page. Thank you for watching.